Hello, everybody. And I got something that's, well, I think it's pretty cool to show you today. So, in this room, it's, again, just a plain old room in the sky. And it kind of looks like there's cracks on the sides. But there's a button, and when we press it, the whole 3x3 three three platform in the middle gets swapped with other blocks, which I think it's really cool. And obviously, it is resettable. You press this. And again, comes up completely flush with the ground. So, if you want to know what the redstone looks like, I guess I'll just clear these blocks, and I guess you'll be able to see it. Alright, so here it is. The redstone. Here's it in action. So, as you can see, it works perfectly. And really, it is not as complicated as it looks. These are the input. This is the input part, which controls the pistons or the swappers and the 3x3 door. And I like to say this, and I'm proud to say that this is stackable. You just stack these pistons and the 3x3 door out, and this way could be stackable. So you can have a 3x10 ditch that could be swapped with blocks, which would be pretty insane in my opinion. The second part here is basically a T flip flop connected to a pulse limiter. So Again, really not that complicated. And then this just controls the 3x3 door. So yeah, very cool. It is somewhat compact, and is definitely completely flush with the ground. So yeah, it's very cool. But I still would like to improve it a little before I put a tutorial out there. So yeah, I'd like to make it a bit um, less tall. It is 7 blocks tall. But, for that reason, I won't be doing a tutorial on this yet. Yet. So, yeah. Very cool design. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. There will be a world download in the description, and I will see you later.